Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here. I'm doing this video because um, about a week ago, I received an email from the Resident Evil Ambassador program. And so I'm like, okay, because of course if you played the Resident Evil 6 demo, or if you've even seen someone play it, because there are a billion different people playing it, because it's like the new Resident Evil game, and it's actually a big deal this time, um, you may have seen the whole Ambassador program thing. And with Resident Evil being my favorite franchise, I was like, you know what? I'm signing up for this. I don't care what it is. Because if you go to the website when it first started, there was like nothing there. It was like, I don't think it was even really a lot of stuff in English. I think for the most part, it was still in Japanese. And it was like, the stuff to sign up was in English, but there was mostly like Japanese, if I remember right. But I received an email, and it was like, okay, so they actually just sent something out. And I wanted to do this because in there, they talked about the dummy finger. And that was like the huge, crazy mystery, the whole demo. I spent, I don't know how long, I think I, if I remember right, because it's been, I only played it like one time. But I played for, I believe, like two and a half hours going through that whole thing and finding all the secrets and stuff. And I was kind of talking with people during my live stream who were helping me out, like, hey, there's secrets here that you can find. And so I was going through and finding stuff with them, maybe playing around and just trying to figure out we were, we were, like, on Reddit and stuff. Like, I was looking up stuff on Reddit. They were looking up stuff. It was like, no one knows what this dummy finger does. So, eventually, I was like, you know what? I, you know, spent two and a half hours playing it. I kind of just, I got to let it go. And if someone else figures it out, then they'll figure it out. But we'll just have to wait and see. And no one has because at this point, there's nothing to show. But in this email I received, it said about a certain finger and it was, I can't remember exactly what it said, so I'll probably put an annotation, and I probably won't, because honestly, it was basically, you know, the answer will be revealed soon, or, you know, there's more to come. And that had me excited, because I'm assuming that means that we might get a second part to the demo, or at least just a second demo. And that was kind of a big thing that a lot of people theorize, because when you play the demo, you do actually get um, a save game. And it's like, okay, you actually save the game, when you start this demo up, and it's like, you know, what what's the point of that? Like, there's no reason to save as a demo. And some other demos do that as well, and it's just like a random function that they didn't take out of the demo because it's a main part of the game, like, oh, auto-saves. So there are certain elements where it's like sometimes that just shows up in demos because they don't take that part out where it saves. And then sometimes it could actually have an effect because there are some demos, and I believe um, Ninja Gaiden did this, when they did Ninja Gaiden 3, uh, the Razor's Edge version, if you played that demo, you could save, you know, you could save the game and all the content that you did, like all the experience that you got in the demo on those, I think it was like two levels you play with two different characters, you actually got to keep that experience and it transferred over uh, to the main game once you actually bought the whole thing. It would actually, you know, have that data in there and you'd have that experience so I don't know if that's exactly the case of course I'm, I'm definitely theorizing at this point because it's still kind of a mystery and I haven't seen an email um, since I got that last one it was just you know more to come but I wanted to do this video to kind of put that out there I'm sure a bunch of other people have already done this because like I said I received it like a week ago or so but I would definitely wanted to put it out there just to put it out there a little bit more that there will be something coming uh, with this crazy freaking dummy finger and I thought I got the answer uh, when I was playing I thought I finally realized what you had to do and I thought that I had to take the finger to the fireplace because it was like I think it was the tip of the finger was burnt and I was like holy crap I figured it out I'm supposed to take it to the fireplace but there was nothing there so maybe they'll add a lighter and maybe you can burn it and people believe that it's a key which I'm pretty sure it is because it looks like a key and maybe that will unlock the other door that's in the hallway that you can't get through so I think they'll be adding either it'll be a completely separate demo demo or it'll be like a new version of the demo and it'll just add all that stuff in there so technically you probably still wouldn't need the save key because if they're doing that they probably just put in another version of the demo I'm not 100% sure but just in case maybe you know keep it downloaded if you already have it or something like that but I definitely wanted to do this because I got that email and I was like I really want to talk about this. I don't know. I would love to hear theories because, you know, it's probably all the same theories, but the fact that they kind of had that in there, because that was like, honestly, after the demo came out, that was probably one of the biggest things, uh, and that was like during E3, so that was still, I think, one of the biggest bits of gaming info that was out there. It was like, what is going on with this dummy finger? We still had E3 going on, and it's like one of the biggest bits of gaming news was, what's going on with the dummy finger and the Resident Evil 7 demo? So, 
something is coming for that. I don't know what it is, but I'm definitely excited. I love the demo when I played it. Um, I'm super excited. Like, obviously, the reason I signed up for the Ambassador thing was because Resident Evil is my favorite franchise, and I was like, you know what? I'm already signed up on their other, uh, like, the Resident Evil Net thing where they do a bunch of challenges and stuff. I was like, why not sign up for this? Like, cause especially with it being attached to the new game, that was another thing that made me curious. I was like, there might be something which... Technically, even though it's just a little hint, like, you know, something's coming later, that's still a huge thing for me to know personally. It might not affect you guys as much if you don't really care about getting the game. But for me, that's a huge deal. Like, there's something else coming before we get the full game. That has me really excited. So either we're getting um, a brand new demo or just a new section to the demo where maybe you can do all the same stuff and, and stuff like that. I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not sure how, uh, you know, if you can do updates to demos exactly, which I'm sure you can, actually. So, we might get that, you know, it might just be a whole new thing, and it's like, you know, they, like, get rid of the first section completely, and it's just like, boom, you already have everything, and then, you know, you just figure it out from there. But, either way, I'm excited for it. I would love to know what you guys think about this. You know, if you heard the news, uh, like I said, I want to know your theories about it. If you hadn't heard the news, still want to know your theories, what you think we might be getting from this dummy finger. Um, I really think if they're actually going to do something... I would have to assume it just means we're going to get an update to the demo and, you know, like I said, maybe they will add a lighter so you can set the fireplace up and then, you know, melt the finger and actually get a, a key and then it'll open up the door in the hallway. That seems like the most logical thing for me because you can go everywhere else in the house except for that one door and the place with the ladder. So the, that's really about it and maybe the door, once you unlock it, you'll find a ladder in there and then you can put that ladder and go in the basement. So that might be how they're doing it and that kind of makes sense because otherwise it would have to be a ginormous house for that one door to open up into like something crazy because you go through a whole kitchen and everything i feel like it's just one room so i think that might be how it plays out i'm not sure how much that could really add to the demo but i'm excited to see whatever they get they have planned for it i'm excited for it i definitely want more news about what's happening with this game so whenever it comes hopefully sooner rather than later but i definitely wanted to do this video just to kind of put that news out there so definitely want to know what you guys think as far as theories and whatnot so please comment below let me know and of course thanks for watching